Coming up today on YOLO Texas. I tell you what, with each gathering we get together, this whole community comes together and feels a little bit more like family. And that is truly what is at the heart of Holotus. Welcome to the annual Holotus Point 5K, the race for the rest of us. Right when you think you've seen it all, and surprise, there's zip lines. Just a good old honky tonk beer joint. Love it. Cheers. Join us on our trip across Texas. People ask me really what is Holotus about. I mean, we do a lot of things well, but we really have three things that are at the core of just about everything we do. We barbecue, we listen to live music, we drink beer. Everybody's got that place where everybody knows your name, and that's what Holotus is. So we just invite people to come down and get a taste of what it's all about. Mayor Whitehead, it is a pleasure meeting with you again. It, the last time we were in town, we got to know the history of Pelotus. We got to visit with the community of Pelotus. So what's new? What's been going on? Give us a little rundown uh, since the last time we were here a year ago. Well, we really appreciate you coming out here. Really enjoy having you here. And we got a lot of great feedback from the last time. So it was- uh, We're doing something uh, right. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, with each event that happens and each uh, gathering we get together, this, this whole community comes together and feels a little bit more like family and that's what we embrace. And uh, we're just focusing on keeping our, our community safe and increasing events and uh, build solid lifelong relationships and that is truly what is the, at the heart of Holotus. That's what makes Holotus Holotus and so lovable and so welcoming. Speaking of the community, what other events can we kind of dig into and, and visit while we're here because we love when we can visit with the community. We have a handful of events that we do annually and regularly. Of course, our market day is the first Saturday of every month here in Old Town. Several other smaller events our uh, Chamber of Commerce puts on our 0.5K, uh, which is a, obviously a fun run uh, right here in Old Town Lotus. Uh, great time to come out and eat donuts and drink coffee and <laughs> stumble your way to the finish line with some activities along the way. Come out and get in costume and, and uh, have a good time with your neighbors. A lot to pack in in this next visit here in Holotus and I can't wait to hit the ground running. So thank you for spending some time with us. Absolutely. Love, love, love Holotus <laughs> and I can't wait to share it with every one of our Yolo Texas family members. So we appreciate you coming out here and um, look forward to seeing you again. Thank you. Specialty here. I've been in the business a long time and I like to make women feel beautiful. Hello. Hi. Hi, welcome to Cheetah Liz. Hi, I'm Erin. Hi, nice to meet you, Debbie James. Nice to meet you. Good to see you today. Glad to be here. Let us know if you have anything that you're trying to find. We'll be happy to help you. Oh my goodness, and there's so much to unpack here. I would love to get a tour if you wouldn't mind. Maybe Absolutely. you could show me around. Absolutely. I would love that, Erin. Let's Hi. go wild. Let's do it. I love it. Ah. <laughs> At Cheetah List, we try to empower women yeah. and help them put the whole style together from jewelry to top, bottom, accessories, yeah. so that you feel good when you get home and you have something wonderful to wear for your special event. Yeah. Awesome. Well, we come to the right spot. The first question we got to really ask is, why Cheetah Lish and why Cheetah? What inspired that idea? Well, I went to Africa, which was my dream. You know, I dreamt of going to Africa my whole life, and I finally got to go to Africa. And then I was mesmerized by the cheetah. And I said, you know what? Cheetah is my soul animal. And when I came back to the United States, it was like, and eventually I'm going to open up my own women's clothing store and I will feature animal prints and whatever trendy styles happen to be in style at the time. Love it. So that's how Cheetah Lish was born.
So what do we have right over okay, here? Okay, so Erin, these are our kimonos, and the great thing about them is they're one size fits all. So uh, they're perfect if you're not sure what size you need, perfect. or if you're trying to buy a gift for someone, right? Yeah. We're your store. We can come style you from head to toe. Love it. So we like to protect animals. It's one of our causes here at Cheetahlish. So we pride ourselves in having vegan handbags nice. and shoes so that it's helping the animal community, which yeah. is what Cheetahlish is all about. Yeah, you, have, you really do have everything. So you have the hats and you also have the jewelry to really complete the set. Exactly. What we try to do is we try to empower women with the total yeah. accessory look. So we offer a lot of accessories from fashion accessories to real gemstones. These happen to be real gemstones with batik African beads and cobalt amber from India. Really? As well as some custom pieces. Well, thank you so much for making this mama feel like a million bucks. You are so welcome, Erin. Thank you so much for visiting us at Cheetahlish. We look forward to seeing you again. I'll be back again. Thank you. <laughs>
and significantly less air. Oh, yum. So custard is it's whipped very slowly, so it's much thicker and creamier. I get ya. And it's served a little warmer, which is what makes it softer, which makes it melt so quick whenever oh. we sit here on a hot Texas day. So we have all of the different custard mixtures, but then we also serve what is called water ice, which I know is a goofy name. Is that a slushy? It's not. Uh, <laughs> water ice is extremely popular in the Northeast, and it is like a slushy, but much more dense. And then every day we have two flavors of the day. So today you're okay. enjoying our horchata, which is the custard infused with horchata flavoring. Oh, love it. Yes. It brings back so many memories. <laughs> I grew up in San Antonio, so horchata was big at my grandma's yes. house. And really it is, nails it, doesn't it? Yeah, it really is. And it's just, like you said, light and fluffy and extra yep. creamy and delicious. And then we also make Dr. Pepper fluffs, but with this it's blended so you get that constant mm -hmm. flavor throughout. Yeah, I usually have to really work at it to sure. get a mixture, a good blend of it all, but this Absolutely. is just so smooth. It is. Definitely hitting a spot. We go into Helotus Country Club and then we walk out here to the Helotus Beer Garden and it's a completely different <laughs> world and it's so cute, it's so fun. So we wanted something different. We wanted the younger crowd, yeah. the, the people that didn't want to sit inside and we opened a, right around COVID so it was huge being outside yeah. and it's just been fun watching it grow. We do have a lot of shade. I'm very grateful for all these oak trees but now with it, the temp coming down, I'm starting to see more and more people come out here and at night, it is perfect weather and we will have live music. Yay. I know, Yay. I can't wait. We're always looking for places to, you know, come hang out with some friends and this is the perfect gathering spot. And speaking <laughs> of, there still is a bar out here. You are a beer garden, so what do you serve? We also have some fun little <laughs> drinks with the, with the twisty <laughs> straws, the fun straws. So uh, I have everything that the bar has down there, mm -hmm. plus a little bit more of a beer selection, more wine, and then I have my frozen lime margaritas and then a sangria margarita but it's all wine based. Yeah. But we tried to work with that and make a bigger menu for the people that don't just like beer because yeah. I'm not a beer drinker. Well, yeah. And this is, this is definitely my go-to. So the hanging table actually used to be my grandpa's chicken coop. We tried to incorporate as much of his stuff in here as possible because he started the bar. Yeah. This was his land. Yeah. And then the turf area is where our cornhole boards and washer games are yeah. as well. Instagram worthy That's as well. That's what I'm going for. But you said chicken coop and you can't help but notice that there is yes. a, a hen den over yeah. there. So <laughs> how many chickens do you have? I have 24 chickens. We're glad to spend some time with you, have a little drink, kind of enjoy just the beauty of the Texas Hill Country right here in the Holotus backyard. And it's a great way to close out our day. So I'm gonna cheers to you, yes, Ms. Morgan. Cheers! To new Thank friends. Thank you, new friends. Yes. Coming up next, we're off to the races in Holotus when YOLO Texas returns. And for all things YOLO and to watch previous episodes, check out our website at yolotx.com. Some people are really running. I know. <laughs> Some people are really running. Wait. <laughs> Welcome to the fourth annual Holotus Point 5K, the race for the rest of us. We gotta take this Point 5K very seriously. Don't wanna pull a muscle. We're ready behind. Flea hop. That's more like a bunny. This is my favorite race. I got candy. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna make it. Just about halfway through, I need some help. I'm, 
Oh, thank you. Thank you, really. How you feeling, Mr. Mayor? Oh, man, I'm top shape. I was a little worn down after the first point one k Got this coffee shot. I'm ready for the rest of the race. I'm really hoping to, to get one of the top times, so nothing's holding me back anymore. It is go time. This is truly the most unique race that I've ever been a part of. So tell us about the 0.5K challenge. We were looking for a way to raise money for our foundation and the money actually goes to the Holotus Chamber Foundation. And so with those funds, we give out scholarships every year. And then we like to help out and participate other nonprofits that are part of the chamber that are home to San Antonio, Holotus in Texas. And we also wanted to showcase Old Town Holotus so we heard of this 0.5K race and we're like, that's perfect. It's really fun because it's like a spoof on a Spartan race, but it's only 0.5K. And along the way, we have the tire flip, but the tires are like this big. Go time, stretch it out. Ah! <laughs> I don't know my own strength, I'm sorry. We have the burpee station, and that's really just taking a drink of Topo Chico and then seeing who could burp the loudest. Oh, come on. That was nice. Uh. <laughs> what about you? <laughs> we have just so many different fun uh, challenge stations that people can participate on along the way. And this year was the first year that we had the Mayor's Cup. Um, with the mascot race, and so that was a lot of fun for the kids and for everybody. Oh, and ready! What was your strategy for this race? I was gonna hop it out, feel it, you know, feel my competitors, and they they went a little harder than I do out of the gates, you know? I just uh, thought I was gonna have time to, to let them wear out, but yeah, they yeah. really went for it. Get my medal. Yeah, thank you. I haven't been to a faux party since college. If you make it through that 5K and you still have got some energy, you end with a bang here. Tell us about this ending party we've got going on. Yes, we have a wonderful band that has played with us from the very beginning, the E7 band. We also offer a VIP section. They can even come up here in a golf cart if they don't want to walk at all. And then we have our local businesses that are open so that we can get their name out. It's a win-win for everybody. Stick around, we've got more from Holotus next on YOLO Texas. We want it to feel kind of like home, but we are family-based, Christian-based, yeah. and it's different. It's not like a lot of, it's not industrial, and it's just a nice, calm place to come. We feel like a lot of our customers have become family and our employees, we're just really close. We love them and we appreciate so much what they do for yes. us. Hello. Hi, Thank is, you. Our old town trope. Ooh, so Willie pretty. Nelson. Cheers oh, to you. you. This is the Willie Nelson Yum. Delicious. So let's get down to some of the coffee and some of the treats that we can taste here. Our manager, Keith, he sources his own beans. He searches out for the best. He roasts right here in this little building. Oh. The roaster is right inside there. And we wanted to be the only place that you could get the coffee that we serve. We do everything from scratch. Really? All of our muffins are from scratch and our breakfast, everything, wow. our own gravy. Here I was thinking it was just coffee, just a coffee shop, because I'm thinking cracked mug and just mugs, I right? Know. But y'all serve way more than we that. Did. We've spent a couple of days here in Holotus, and right when you think you've seen it all, and surprise, there's zip lines. We have a 10 line course, including the training line. Average tour time takes about two hours. The lines are gonna range anywhere from 100 feet to 1,000. Wow. It's kind of a hybrid course, so yeah. ground to ground, tower to tower, a variety. 
But also when you come through where we're docked at right now, you see all this beautiful space that we can just actually hang out. Tell us more about the keg. So we have a beer garden, as you were mentioning. We also have disc golf. We're going to be adding a lot of other activities. But at the keg, we have live music on Fridays and Saturdays. We are starting to host songwriter circles to where artists can come in, open mic, and just play. First one, here we go. And look at the view. So it's gonna feel like one of the highest, but we're gonna get higher off the ground. You're only 45, 50 feet off the ground. Here we go. I tried my best to look around and take yeah. in the scenery. That was sick. You can you see the Tower of the Americas. Can you see it right there? Oh, yeah! Look! All right, Glenn, our last one. YOLO! Yo. Yeah! You're gonna take two steps down and then you're good to go. Longest and fastest. There we go, you longest and fastest. Three, two, Woo! I was part of the trees. I was one with nature. Lots of fun.